Welcome back to my French kitchen. Today, let's bring Paris to our kitchens with tuiles aux amandes, literally translated as roof tiles because of their shape. What's brilliant is that you don't even need a mould to make them. And on top of that, you can rustle them up in about 30 minutes. That's it. What's even better, the bonus is, remember the last recipe we made, we made the recipe using two egg yolks that had to be used up straight away? Well, we're using the leftover egg whites for this recipe. It's brilliant, it's like money in the bank. You just put them in a jam jar, they can keep in the fridge for up to a week, you can even freeze them. So, are we ready? Let's get cracking. First, I strongly recommend weighing out all your ingredients using digital scales for precise and consistently successful baking. You'll find all the quantities below this video. First, measure out your egg whites. This is from about two eggs, then add the sugar. I'm getting my work out here, but you really don't need to mix so vigorously. Just add all the ingredients together and mix together well. Add your melted butter. Then you can add some vanilla powder extract. It's optional, but I love using vanilla powder. Then add your slivered almonds. And then if you like, you can replace the almonds with sesame seeds. This is absolutely delicious, served with black sesame ice cream. Please don't skip this part because it's important to harden the butter. Shape the mixture into oval or round discs with the back of a spoon and leave a good space between them as they will expand in the oven. It takes 8 to 10 minutes in the oven and that's perfect timing for a cup of tea. Oh, second batch. Yeah, second batch. Well, we just need to work a little bit fast in this one because while they're very hot, this at this point, I would suggest if you're cooking with children to make sure that the adult does this part because it's hot. P just put it into the grooves like that and they will cool very quickly and stay in this shape. Yeah, that's it. See, look at that. We'll do another one. Julie here for all my fellow students struggling to find cooking utensils. Mom's using a cooling rack, but you can also use a grill tray from your oven, a rolling pin to shape them into their perfect shape. You can also use a wine bottle, a very clean glass, or you could use a jam jar. A, yeah, a jam jar. This recipe in my second book, Tea Time in Paris. Is this not a delicious map? It's been painted by my lovely friend Carol Gillot. Anyway, join me and let's make all these Parisian treats together. I love how we're so focused on tea we forgot to do the video. <laughs> we've got to put them in the oven. Roof tiles. <laughs> 